Hi everybody, everybody I'm back. And today, today I'm gonna to show you all how to make baked fish. I'm gonna show you all how to make a very quick and simple baked fish recipe. And we're gonna do something unique. I'm getting a little unique in this kitchen today. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna bake this fish in parchment paper, right? And then we're gonna lay our fish on a bed of summer yellow squash and other vegetables and it's going to cause to keep your fish nice and juicy we're going to put lemon juice we're going to have tomato we're going to have garlic powder a little bit of olive oil and this right here this fish is so healthy it is so tasty a lot of fun to make and pretty easy so Here's what you're going to need in order to make Jeannie Young style baked fish in parchment paper. So here's what you'll need. I do have the orange roughy fish. Okay, and let me show you what it looks like. See that there? This is a nice flaky fish. It's absolutely amazing. If you can find it, try to use this. But like I said, if you can't, don't make it a worry. You use what kind of fish you can find. We're going to use some dried parsley, as well as fresh parsley. You're gonna need your summer squash. You will need lemon. You will need butter as well. You're gonna need some tomato. I have olive oil, garlic powder, and lemon pepper. Now right here, I have, this is just a cookie sheet that I've aligned with beautiful aluminum foil. And then, to make our pockets that's going to hold the fish, which is the parchment paper, okay? And I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do just that. So, first thing that we wanna do is you want to season your fish up on both sides, all right? Let me pour off that little bit of water that's on the plate and I'll be right back. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut our parchment paper. And since I have three pieces, I'm going to, cause I'm not gonna do three pockets. I'm gonna do two. So I'll just make one of them have two pieces, which is just fine. And then the other one will have one piece. Okay, let's get this cut. Just like so. And we're gonna cut two of them. And make sure that it's big enough so that you can make sort of an envelope to enclose your fish. All right, there's that. Now, let's go ahead and get our fish seasoned up. When you're seasoning your fish, you always want to season both sides so that you can have well seasoned fish. You don't want any bland fish, guys. That's the last thing that, that, like, that's the last thing in the world that I want is bland fish. I want it to have some flavor. Okay? So, I am looking for my sea salt. Here it is, guys. I put my spices up, and then they come in the kitchen, and they kind of move things around. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead. We want to use some sea salt. And I'm just going to season both sides in this manner. Beautiful. And then I like to use some lemon pepper. This lemon pepper is absolutely amazing. If you have a chance to get some or you can find some, get you some. And then we're going to use some garlic powder. This fish is gonna cook for around about 15 to 20 minutes on 375. Garlic powder. And then you wanna give these a toss. And season your other side as well. Just like this. Nothing hard about anything that I ever make in my kitchen. Everything that I make, you all can do the same thing and it's gonna taste the same way. You hear me? Trust me when I tell you this. Absolutely you can. I love this lemon pepper here because the it's amazing. And it has dried lemon in there, it's beautiful. 
Absolutely it is. So then I wanna put a little bit of sea salt on the other side as well. Just like this. I wanna grab my Old Bay seasoning out and then I'll be right back. Using Old Bay is gonna give it a very amazing flavor. Okay, Old Bay can be used for poultry, for seafoods, meats, and salads. It's awesome on fish, okay? Now, I'm just gonna use the Old Bay on one side, okay? Just like this, in this manner. All right, now what we wanna do, go ahead and put you a little bit of parsley, your dried parsley, onto your fish on both sides, okay? We'll get the other side as well. Now, let's move our fish aside. Preheat your oven to 375 if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. Well, here's the thing. We're going to need the zest of a half of this lemon here. Not the pith, not the white part, but just the zest. Okay, and we're gonna sprinkle a little bit of this zest over our beautiful fish, okay? And it's gonna give so much flavor. And what we'll actually do, we'll go ahead and we'll put the zest on now. I think that's about enough. So bring your fish back into the equation. Just put you some on there. Great flavor. Absolutely. Just like this. You all sometimes just ever want a nice, clean, healthy dish. Well, if you do this right here, this is the dish for you. It's packed. It's packed with so much beautiful flavor. It's healthy. And you don't feel heavy and weighed down after you eat it, you know? You all know what I'm talking about. Okay. <clears throat> so then we're going to take the beautiful squash that we have here. And we wanna cut it. You can cut this into matchsticks. You can cut it however you would like, okay? I'm just gonna go down the side here, or down the middle, so to speak, all right? And watch me. Here's the thing, when you're baking this in the oven, you have to make sure that this is not really thick because you don't want for your vegetables not to be done and your fish is done because it would be a disaster. And the way that you would cause a disaster would be if you cut these really thick, your fish will be done and these won't be done. So what you're going to do is you're going to cut them nice and thin, not too thin, you know, don't get crazy with it, but cut it nice and thin so it can be done when your fish is done as well. That's my oven beeping just telling me, hey, I'm ready. I'm heated up. Okay, so we're going to slice this in this manner. Nice, beautiful slices. Not too thick. Not too thin either, okay? And we're going to put a nice, beautiful bed of this right under our fish. Our fish is going to lay right on the top of this. How many of you absolutely love squash? I am that person that loves this yellow squash so much, I can eat it raw. <laughs> absolutely, I can. I can eat it microwaved with a little bit of salt, pepper, and butter. I can stir fry this. I love zucchini, and I love this yellow squash as well. Okay. So this right here might have to get chopped up into a freezer bag and put into the freezer. Okay, and I can use that tomorrow for a separate dish. All right, so now that we have that cut, if you wanted to use cherry tomatoes, absolutely you can, okay? You don't have to use the big tomato, but since I had this on hand, this is what we're gonna use, okay? If I didn't have any tomatoes on hand, what I would do is I would actually go out and get the little cherry tomatoes and I would just slice them down the middle, okay? So what we're gonna do is, and we're not gonna put too many in here. We're gonna put just enough tomato that's gonna give us a nice, beautiful sauce because once your tomato 
breaks down, the tomato will make sort of a sauce, especially when it combines with the lemon juice and the butter and the olive oil. Absolutely it will. So watch how I'm going to do this. Now these are going to be a little bit thicker than the squash, but that's just fine. You all that know anything about tomatoes, tomatoes don't take any time to get cooked. So you don't have to worry about these not getting cooked. All right. Beautiful. I think we have enough tomatoes there and I have fresh parsley here as well. So then let's come over here. I'm going to show you how to make our first one. I'm so excited. Okay, everybody, here's what you're going to do. So remember, I told you all that one of the fish is going to have two pieces, and another of the fish will just have one piece, which is just fine. No problem there. Okay? So the first thing that I'd like to do is you want to align your squash, zucchini, whatever vegetables that you want to use, because it doesn't have to be squash. It doesn't have to be zucchini. It can be onions. It can be uh, asparagus. Any nice fresh vegetable will do, as long as you make sure that it's nice thin pieces, okay? So we're going to go ahead and put some parsley on there. Now this fresh parsley will give some flavor. Absolutely it will, okay? We're going to put a little bit of lemon juice right on top of there. All that's flavor. We're going to build flavor on top of flavor. Now, a little bit of garlic powder. Absolutely. A little bit of sea salt. I'm going to tell you all just a little bit. Just a little is all you need. All right. We're going to take a little bit of olive oil and put that olive oil, just a tiny bit guys, on top of your vegetables so they can roast. Beautiful. And then you take your fish and you lay it right on top of there. Mm -hmm. Guys, listen here. I am making my own mouth water. <laughs> I know, I know you all's mouth has to be watering because I'm getting so excited right now. So here's what I like to do. I like to take the tomato. Like I said, that tomato will somewhat create a little bit of a sauce once it mixes. Trust me, once it mixes with the lemon juice, the olive oil, the butter, absolutely amazing. Okay. Put you a little bit on there in this manner. Now, let me grab a knife because I want to put some butter slices as well as olive oil on top, okay? Don't get crazy with the oil, guys. Just a little is all you need, all right? And then I want to take two tablespoons of butter and put it right there, okay? Just like this. Mm-hmm. A little bit of cracked crack black pepper right on top. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Watch this. Oh yeah. You don't need anything on the side. You got everything you need everything you need and you know it's carb free like who doesn't want a carb free meal i know i do i know i can use any carb free meal especially if it's gonna be delicious i'm all for it okay check me out guys take this you're gonna put it right on top okay and then you just want to kind of roll it okay if you wanted to use a stapler, you can. It's really up to your discretion. And then you're going to take the sides. You're just going to fold them in. Okay? You're going to fold this side in as well. You don't need. You don't need any water in here. 
You don't need any chicken broth. You don't need anything but the ingredients that we put in here. All of the ingredients that we put in this pouch is going to create somewhat of a beautiful sauce. Okay? So we're going to pick it up. And, you know, like, it's not, you don't have to baby it like it's a baby. It's okay. It's okay to move it. All right. This one here. I meant to squeeze some lemon on top, but it's okay. Don't worry. Remember, we squeezed lemon. Well, let's see. Let's go ahead and do it now. Okay? Let's go ahead and do it now. That's the good thing about this. You can open it and reclose it. Go ahead and get your lemon on there, baby. Ooh, just like that. Okay? Now we'll just reseal it. One pouch is done. Now let's do our second. All right? So then you're going to do the same thing, same everything. And each one, when you open them up, they all might look different, but that's okay. And guess what? You can do this with chicken breast. Absolutely you can. You can do this with a beautiful piece of fresh salmon. And you're talking about lip smacking. Ooh, there's going to be some lip smacking, all right. <laughs> I'm so serious. Lemon. Garlic. Mm -hmm. Sea salt. A little bit. Don't get crazy with it. Just a little bit. A little tiny bit of olive oil, guys. A little is all you need. There you go. Oh yeah. All right. In we go with your beautiful fish. Any kind of fish you want. Let's go ahead and put our lemon on there so that I don't forget. Beautiful. Beautiful. My word. You hear me? Now, let's put the parsley on just like so in this manner. We're going to put some parsley on top as well. Get you some tomato on there, baby. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm so excited for this. <laughs> Guys, I have to eat that. Mm. Oh, I had a piece of lemon. I had some lemon on my hands. Mm. Mm -mm. And I picked up that tomato. That was awesome. Now, two tablespoons of butter. Right there on top, baby. Remember, we already squeezed the fish. A little tiny bit. Just to season our tomatoes. A little tiny bit. A little tiny bit of oil. Oh, yeah. And we're going to use some dried parsley because it's nice and beautiful. Like I said, each one may look different but it's okay. They're gonna be delicious. And then you wanna go in, in this manner once again, just kind of fold it down. All right. And you can roll these, do whatever you have to do to get these nice and tight, as long as they're tight. And I'm actually thinking about, I'm serious. I'm actually thinking about using my um, stapler, but I know a lot of you sticklers, you're going to say something, and I'm not going to care, <laughs> but if I see that it unrolls, I will grab my stapler and staple it, but if you do use a stapler, be sure to take it out for whoever you are feeding, because you don't want them not to know that there's staples in there and someone gets hurt, okay? So, in order to prevent that, what you're going to need to do is just make sure that your pocket is just nice and sealed. We're going to put this in the oven, 375 degrees, around about 12 to 15 to maybe 20 minutes, and it'll be done. 
Steam will form, a sauce will form, and you're gonna have one nice, beautiful orange roughy baked fish meal. Someone have requested this and I said, sure I will. So here we are, I'm making baked fish for you. In the oven we go. Okay, everybody, our fish is perfectly done. It's perfuming the whole house. It smells so good. It's not a fishy smell. It's a beautiful smell. Now, you can see that our little packets, they did not leak, they did not pop open. If you roll them tight enough, they'll stay put, you know? And look here, we don't have, we don't have any juice that leaked, okay? Beautiful, what I want you to do, you be careful be careful because I don't want anyone to open this not knowing about the steam. If you're going to feed this to someone like literally right away, just tell them to be careful and it's that simple, okay? Let's see which one I have two pieces in. Well, we'll actually, we'll open them both, okay? And like I said, be careful from the steam. You don't want to use this for a facial. <laughs> Trust me. Oh my word, I cannot, I cannot wait for the revealing. Cannot wait. Oh yeah. And see this here? If you want it to, you can serve this right inside of the paper so that you can keep all of that beautiful juice. All that beautiful juice right there, guys. Trust me, that juice is love. And I gotta taste it right now. Look how beautiful. My goodness, this is flavor. You hear me? Let me taste it. Mm. Oh. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. You can taste the Old Bay, the garlic, the butter, the olive oil, the vegetables. It's amazing. And you see the juice? Because the fish and the vegetables created this beautiful juice. You wanna keep that juice. Let's go ahead. I was gonna take it off the plate. Mm. Let's leave that, I mean, off of the bag. Let's leave it right on here because I want all that goodness. I wanna drink all that juice if I can. Absolutely. You present it in this way. Maybe you can put some brown rice on the side. That right there. This is Love 101. Hey, listen, let's open this one so you can see it as well. Oh, yeah, baby. Mm, 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 mm. So delectable, so beautiful every time. This is the one over here with one piece in it. Beautiful. You see that? Beautiful juice that we've created. Try this. Try this for your loved one. Let me know what they tell you. If you haven't turned your oven off, turn it off by now. God bless this meal. Lord, we thank you for today. We thank you for your love time, your mercy, and your understanding. Thank you for feeding us. Send your angels down to surround us to keep us safe and your Holy Spirit to help us make good decisions. Give us peace over our mind. Thank you for this meal. Amen. I gotta taste the sauce again. This sauce right here is amazing. Mmm, mm hmm. Mm. Here's the thing if, if you love lemon, like I do, be sure to have some lemon on the side so you can just squeeze it. But guess what? I had that prepared just in case I needed it. I don't need anything. I'm just ready to dig in. Mm, 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 mm. I want you all to see deep down in there. I want you to see these beautiful vegetables and the fish as well. Check this out. Check that out, guys. Oh, yeah. I'm going to give you all the first bite. I want you all to let me know what you think. We're going to taste the fish alone. And I want you to see just how tender and flaky it is. This is orange roughy. 
Look at that. Is it flaky? Is it tender? Is it beautiful and nicely seasoned? Absolutely, you bet, Ooh, you bet your bottom dollar this is seasoned. This is flaky and it's gonna be juicy. Dig in. Mm. Ooh. Mm. 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 That garnet, that is so good. Look at the vegetables, perfectly done. They're not smushy and soggy. They're perfect. They still have texture and they're going to be delicious and they've been flavored with all of those beautiful juices. Try this. Mmm, 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 mmm. Oh my word. You hear me? Mmm. This next, you have to try it. It's seasoned. It's beautiful. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Another piece of fish, guys. Try it. Mm. Look at that. I love a nice, thick piece of fish that's flaky. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. If you all enjoyed this video, hey, give me a thumbs up. Mm -hmm. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe. Make sure you click on that notification bell so that you can be notified every time Gina Young uploads one of these awesome recipes. And as always, God bless each and every one of you. Thank you all for watching. Have a good night. Good night. Let's try a few more pieces. Mm, 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 mm. Mm, mm, mm. You, you, mm. I've outdone, I've outdone myself once again. This right here is so good. I'm literally, like right now in my mind, I'm thinking that I want this again tomorrow for dinner. This just might be on a dinner menu tomorrow at the Young's. God bless you all. Have a good night. Good night.